Alright, hello guys, and welcome back to, uh, Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2 with Mio Phil. We're looking a little worse for the wear, but that's because I kind of, I done screwed up a little. Man. The walking zombies do, like, no damage to Chris. Or, not to Chris. Jeez, god damn it, I keep making that mistake. To Leon, if you knock him off fast enough, but those, those crawling zombies. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Ah! Oh my god, I just noticed that they added a little turning animation to the... to the... Uh, to the... Uh, to the... to the... to the doorknob. <laughs> Alright, item box. I know I know the drill for this. Let's drop off that shotgun. Let's drop... drop off that small key. Drop off those ink ribbons. Drop... Drop off that small key. All right. Aha! What is this? Aha! The first file of probably many to come. Police memorandum. This letter is just to inform everyone about the recent movement of equipment that has happened during the pre this precinct's rearrangement. The safe with four-digit lock has been moved from the Star's office on the second floor to the Eastern office on the first floor. Two, two, three, six. Raccoon Police Liaison Department. Aha, uh -huh, 2236. So, before we move on, see anything else in that room, we're gonna run right back to that safe and check it out. Because we got a combination, I mean... Ooh. I wanna know what's in that safe. I wanna know what what they need to hide. Come on. <laughs> Ends up being something like completely unexpected, like Chris's severed head or something. Or it's just Chris, curled up in a ball, being like, ah, where, where, where. <laughs> That's how that's how they really saved him from the mansion in Resident Evil One. He just locked himself inside a safe, and it was it was like the refrigerator out of <laughs> out of Indiana Jones, and it just survived. Uh, all right, there we go. Two, two, three, six. Let's go. I like how they have the mechanical... Okay, it clearly shows a mechanical lock. And it clearly has the mechanical dial sound. But it said that it was a... <laughs> a digital lock. Sure. Oh, hey, look, we did get shotguns. Well, I said we were going to get shotgun shells with uh, the small key, but... Ooh, police station map. I will take that. Oh my god, I will take that. Alright, what was it? Select to look at the map? No... Start, no. I thought there was an easy way to look at the map. No, it's not R. That's to shoot, you silly. Alright, let's look at the map. Let's do whatever. Alright, so we're, we're not there. I just moved around my cursor without thinking. Okay, so we're there in the red room. I'm going out, back out to that big room. I have no idea what that blue door means. Um... I'm guessing... Okay, so the red door is hearts. Because that's where that's the door leading off of the one we're on that's locked. The green door is clubs, I believe. And the purple door is spades. So the blue door is diamonds. I'm guessing. Just, you know, process of elimination and all that jazz. Good thing we got shotgun shells. We're almost out of pistol ammo. Ha, uh, this is reminding me again of Resident Evil 1. I wonder why, because it's a freaking sequel. <laughs> that was a really weird way to say sequel. Sequel. <laughs> it's a freaking sequel. Get over yourself. It's gonna remind you a lot of the game. Oh my, whoa. Feeling... <laughs> Just the way I had him, like, turned, he looked... Like he was feeling a bit sassy. <laughs> I don't know. I need I need some more character from you, Leon. I don't know how to treat you. Like right now, I'm just treating you as another Chris. Also, I've learned my lesson from Resident Evil One. There's no way I'm saving yet. <laughs> ha! Don't even count on it. All right, let's grab that shotgun. All right. No. It's not like. It's not like I'm pressing it that hard, it's just really sensitive. Oh, it only holds five. 
I was expecting it to take the whole clip. What is this? What is this? What is this? Well, there's no zombies in here, but I could tell that from the sounds. Nothing out of the ordinary. What about over here? Nothing out of the ordinary. What is that thing in the middle, though? Oh, the desk is locked. Let's go use a key that... Oh, wait, wait, wait. What is this? Oh, it's just the... Information office. Aha! Oh, wait, wait, wait. And there's wanted posters up. Nothing special here. Never mind! <laughs> Alright, let's get that small key. Because we can use it! There we go. And what do we have here? Come on, shotgun ammo, shotgun ammo. Come on, shot... Oh, we gotta open it. <laughs> uh, handgun bullets, damn. Damn. <laughs> it's just weird. <gasps> no, no, no. No, I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. I saw that thing jumping around out there. I saw it. Oh no, I don't want the doggies back. <sighs> Just gonna play around with this little... There we go. Okay. I'm just delaying the inevitable at this point. I don't want to fight the dogs. Oh, I don't like that camera angle. I don't like it. And I don't like that water drip. Ooh, okay, is this gonna be another hallway where they burst through the window? Oh yes it is! Oh yes it is! <gasps> oh wait. Yeah, the head is missing. Uh, it seems to have been twisted off. Oh, wait a minute. What's in here? It's locked. A spade is etched into the keyhole. Hey, we were right. Okay, Leon, I thought you were going to slip, and I was going to call you the biggest idiot. What the hell is that? <gasps> Very silly looking. But a little scary as well. Um. Okay. Ha! No. Stay down. Oh, gosh. He reminds me of, um, what is his name? Valdi? No. From, um... Oh, what's that fighting game? <laughs> Uh, the one with weapons. The only one with weapons that matters. Um, Soul Calibur. Was it Valdi? No, it's got a, it's something else. I don't remember what it is. It starts with a V. Gonna use that, because we can. Oh, it starts with a V. It's not Vivaldi. <laughs> Vivaldi. The fetish, the, the 60-year-old in fetish gear that, you know, goes around on all fours with kukris. Just slicing up, folks. Oh man, I don't want it. No want... window is boarded up. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we were walking into a wall. I thought there was a step we were going up, but no. <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait. Oh wait, wait, wait. There we go. <laughs> Makes me feel a little safer. Oh geez, earlier I was gonna say to that uh, that uh. But that uh that other cop <laughs> um well you guys have known about this for two months why weren't you more prepared but uh, it seems like they were I mean look at this they've had to reboard these windows so many times oh come on can't we just peek through the, the vents at the bottom maybe oh it looks like a classroom oh jeez huh <laughs> 
monitor for my computer just shut off. <laughs> my room got really dark and I was scared for a second. Operation report. September 26th. The Raccoon Police Department was unexpectedly attacked by zombies. Many have been injured. Even more were killed. During the attack, our communications equipment was destroyed and we no longer have contact with the outside. We have decided to carry out an operation with the intent of rescuing any possible survivors, as well as to prevent this disaster from spreading beyond Raccoon City. The details of the operation are as follows. So wait, shouldn't Leon have known a little bit about this? I mean, they knew about it for like two months in advance. I mean, he is a new guy, but still. Security of armaments and ammunition. Chief Irons, I th read that as Chef Irons, and I'm like, ha, ha. You guys predicted Iron Chef. No. Chief Irons has voiced concern regarding the issue of terrorism due to a series of recent unresolved incidents. On the very day before the zombies attack, excuse me, he made the decision to relocate all weapons to scattered intervals throughout the building as a temporary measure to prevent their possible seizure. Unfortunately, this decision has made it extremely p difficult for us to locate all our ammunition caches. It has become our top priority to recover these scattered munitions. To lock the weapon storage. Wait, what? Oh, as stated earlier, it would be extremely difficult to secure all the ammunition. However, a considerable supply still remains in the underground st weapon storage. Unfortunately, the person in charge of the storage uh, in store charge of the card key used to access the weapon storage is missing, and we have been unable to locate the key. One of the breakers went down during the battle, and the electronic locks are not functioning in certain areas. It's become a top priority to restore the power in the power room and secure those locks. Recorder, David Ford. <laughs> God, there's more of this. Operation Report, September 27th. 1 o'clock p.m. The West Barricade has been broken through, and another exchange ensued. We sheltered the injured in the confiscation room on the first floor temporarily. Twelve more people were injured in the battle. Recorder, David Ford. Additional report. Three additional people were killed following the sudden appearance of an, of an as-of-yet unknown creature. This creature is identified by missing patches of skin and razor-sharp claws, razor-like claws. However, its most distinguishing characteristic is its lens-like tongue, capable of piercing a human torso in an instant. Well, I guess I'm a little bit lucky. Hmm. The numbers, as well as their locations, remains unknown. We have technically... Tentif... Tentic... Oh god, tentic... I don't even know what I said anymore. It was like a cross between tentatively and tentically. <laughs> Name this creature the Licker. And are currently in the process of developing countermeasures to deal with this new threat. Oh, so we're up against Lickitungs. <laughs> Lovely. Well, maybe they they'll learn rollout and learn become licky lickies. All right. At least we're safe in here. I mean, I don't hear any zombies or anything. No zombies. Uh, can I get a nice coffee or something? You know, I'm I'm a little bit parched uh, after fighting so many zombies. Empty soda cans. Nothing else. Is there something at the podium? Maybe. Looks like an operation map. Can I take the operation map? Well, no, because it's a chalkboard. That would be ridiculous carrying around a chalkboard everywhere you go, Leon. Don't even think such silly things. This is a very foreboding looking office. What the heck? Like, this is just a very odd looking police station. It's a fireplace with an oil, an oil painting hangs above it. That is a very weird painting to have in a police station. The title is A Sacrifice to the Hellfire. Oh, jeez. Oh! 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 Wait a minute. I know this. I know this. I know this puzzle. Ha-ha! Whoa, <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, we did this before. I mean, not sure that would actually set it on fire, but... Oh, man. These puzzles are just, like, falling into place now that I've, you know, played a Resident Evil game. Alright, so I've got no idea what we're doing with that gem. Um, presumably it unlocks something. 
I mean, otherwise, why would Leon carry around a gem with him? But, we'll find out next time on Let's Play Resident Evil 2 Blind... Let's blindly play Resident Evil 2 with Mio X Fu as we go around this corner, which I probably should wait until next episode, but what the heck. Oh, it's just tramping on, like, glass and stuff. I thought that was a squishy sound, and I was like, ugh. Right. Anything? Anything? The ventilation shaft? It's dark inside. I know. Let's light it on fire. That'll light it up, right? <laughs> well, at least we get to actually carry the lighter around with us with around with us everywhere. All right, so next time we'll go through this door. We, let's blindly play Resident Evil 2 with Miox Fu, and I wanted to get a close up of Leon's face, but I guess I can't. Take it easy, guys.